My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to ink a sketch in Photoshop. So here I have a sketch that I did in Photoshop with my tablet. If you do it in Photoshop, there is one benefit, and that is that you can overlay a color you used. So I used a grayish brown for the sketching, but I actually decided because I'm inking it probably in that exact color, if not maybe a little darker, I'm going to change the color um, of my sketch. So I'm going to go down to my layers, I'm going to select FX, and I'm going to do color overlay. And here I'm going to select, I'm going to select a really light blue color. So that way I don't really get confused between what's my ink and what's my sketch. And you can do this with a normal drawing too. It's not just the um, sketch, uh, the sketch in Photoshop. So you're going to want to get nice and close, but not too, too close. Um, just close enough so that you can get as detailed as you desire. And I'm going to actually choose uh, a small brush, and I'm just going to start off by just tracing my image. And basically all you're doing is tracing what you've drawn. As if you were inking it. Like so. And hair can be really tricky to, um, to ink, so I recommend when you first start inking your hair that you, let's fit this on the screen, I recommend that you define certain blocks of the hair. So like for example, this is a block right here, and this is a block, and this is a block, and so on. So that way you know which direction to go in. But I'm actually not going to ink the hair right now. I'm just going to show you why this is actually really useful. So that when you're done, and even though I didn't ink the hair, you'll be able to see as soon as I can that it's already got way cleaner look to it. So if you use the ink, it's just going to give it a way cleaner finish. And a lot of people like to use the pen tool. I personally have not used it for such a thing, but um, you, can, you can actually do that. You can use the freeform pen tool like this. And then when you fill it, you stroke path, and if you simulate pressure, you'll get a nice wispy line, and you're on your way. My name is Alex, and this is how you ink a drawing in Photoshop. Thank you.